Hi, for today's video, we're doing a revision on the theories on the chapter of salts. So I've chosen a question from O Level Pure Chemistry, 2016, Paper 2, Question 5. Let us first have a look at the question. The table shows some salts and products that contains them. So we have got five salts in the table. We have got silver chloride, potassium nitrate, we have got barium sulfate, sodium carbonate, and lead sulfate. And for part A, which salts in the table can be made by precipitation reactions? Alright, so first we must understand that precipitation reactions actually is used to uh, make salts that are insoluble in water. So it comes out as a precipitate. Alright, so we we'll need to identify which of these few are insoluble in water. And uh, the few of them will be silver chloride, um, all potassium salts, uh, or rather all group 1 salts are soluble in water because they are uh, very reactive. Alright, so we have got barium sulfate as the other one, and sodium carbonate, all sodiums are also uh, soluble salts, uh, or rather this is not. And last but not least, we have got lead sulfate. Alright, so the three salts are silver chloride, barium sulfate, and lead sulfate. Okay, the reason why these salts are insoluble in water and precipitation reactions are used to make salts which are insoluble in water as precipitates. Alright, so this is the reason. Alright, so this is the answer for part A. And let's look at part B. Other compounds are used to make a range of useful products. Put a tick in one box in each row to show a correct use of each compound. Okay, so we have got a few other compounds here. We have got bitumen, sulfuric acid, ethene, ethyl ethanoate, and calcium carbonate. And we have got several other uses that uh, we are supposed to link the compound to the uses, each for one of them. So let's have a look here. Um, bitumen from the organic chemistry chapter, we know that bitumen is actually um, quite uh, uh, unreactive. So we'll probably, uh, you probably recognize that it's used for the road surfaces. Okay, so let me just draw a link. You're supposed to uh, put a tick in the question. All right, so next we have got sulfuric acid. All right, so this under the acid chapter, if you have uh, read the uses of sulfuric acid, one of them or most of uh, a large percentage of it is actually to make detergent. All right, so we'll link it here. Next we have eating. Eating, uh, as you can understand, it comes from the organic chemistry chapter and it's also one of the alkene. And it's very widely used to make polymer because it can undergo addition polymerization and that will give us a, a plastic like polyethylene that we use for the shopping bags. All right. Next, we have ethyl ethanoate. Uh, this, for the pure students who would understand that, is a uh, 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 ester. Ester comes from the reaction between acid and carboxylic, uh, carboxylic acid and alcohol. And this, uh, if you let us choose between the two uses, it will be much put into a better use as a solvent because organic compound can be only dissolved in organic solvent. All right, so we can use this as a solvent. Next up, we have calcium carbonate, and we know that carbonate and also calcium oxide can be used 
in the flue gas desulfurization because uh, sulfur dioxide is an acidic oxide. It can react with both the carbonate and the oxides of calcium. All right, so this will be used for this. All right, and so this will be the solution for the whole question.